Hi, so in this particular playlist we're going to start looking at the areas of sectors of circles. Um, now, typically speaking these are generally A, B grade type GCSE questions. Um, they're relatively straightforward because actually we're really dealing with um, formulas that we already know. So the formula that we're going to be looking at generally is the area of a circle equals pi r squared. Okay, and you're probably used to working out an area of a circle which is say, I don't know, four centimeters, something like that. Um, plug the numbers in and you'll get the area out. Well, this works in exactly the same way, but this time, rather than giving a full circle, the question will actually ask us to calculate the area of the sector of a circle. So what we've got with this particular question is um, that this is six centimetres radius, this is six centimetres, okay, and the angle is 120 degrees. Um, and they ask us to work out the area of this particular piece. Um, I think they call it a a game piece or something like that. Um, typically speaking, they'll, they'll, they might make these into word questions um, and they'll talk about a garden or a game piece or something like that. Okay, so what we've got is area equals pi r squared for a full circle. However, we've only got the part of a circle which has got an interior angle of 120 degrees. Well, if you imagine, actually, if I sort of extended that all the way around, um, this 120 is 120 out of 360 degrees. So actually what we've got there is a portion of the circle or a fraction of the circle. And the fraction that we've got is 120 degrees out of the full 360 that we would have if we were working out the full area. So we're going to use that and all we're simply going to do is use that as a portion of the area which is pi r squared. So the overall area of this particular sector is 120 degrees out of 360 degrees and we're going to multiply that by working out the area of a circle, which is pi r squared. So we just put the numbers in and we've got 120 over 360. Um, and I guess you might work out that's actually equivalent to a third. Uh, you're going to multiply that by pi, which in most calculators, scientific calculators, is pre-programmed for you. On some papers, they might ask you to use 3.142 or something like that. And then you can multiply that by r squared. Now just be a little bit careful with r squared because r squared means the radius 6 squared. And if you prefer, you can actually write this as 6 times 6. And that can be quite useful uh, to write it out at uh, fully just to make sure that you've got the correct calculation. Okay, pop those numbers into a calculator and you'll end up with a really long number. Well, two things you might end up with. Firstly, the calculator will say it's actually 12 pi, which is perfectly true uh, because pi is a, is a fixed number. Um, it's 12 multiplied by pi on a calculator. If you press, there's a little button on your calculator that says Usually it says S D, okay. And if you press that button, that will give you the decimal equivalent of that, which is actually uh, a very long number, which is thirty-seven point six nine one one. No, six nine nine one one. Oh. OK, and so it goes on, all right, <laughs> but you can check that for yourself. But typically you would work with either 12 pi or press the calculator. And most of these questions will ask you to uh, calculate the area, uh, typically to something like three significant figures. OK, so three significant figures of 37.6999111 is the third number is 6. It needs to change. So to answer the question, it's actually going to be 37.7 centimetres squared. So I look at the third number, which is 6. 
It needs to change because the next number is a 9, so therefore that 6 rounds up to 7. OK, so the full answer to this particular question is 37.7 centimetres squared. Um, I hope that's helpful to you. It is one of the first videos on this particular playlist. I'm also going to post a few more examples. It is um, round about a, a star grade at uh, GCSE or high school maths. But, providing you remember that pi r squared is the area of the overall circle, then you can use this whole idea of a fraction of the circle in order to calculate and answer the question. I um, hope that's okay. Please do subscribe to the site, add a comment below, and I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.